right guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Rome Total War Julii Let's Play uh, in the original Rome Total yes, War. Yes. Now, last time we uh, advanced on Pontus, hopefully the last couple of provinces, we're not sure, and we took Alexandria, which is awesome. Uh, we're just retraining everyone, keeping them going, and I think we're going to leave maybe Marcus and Julius here to, to uh, calm things down a little. Now... You know, we're looking kind of separated, but, you know, the plan behind this is working. It's basically stopped all the Romans from doing anything, which is class. I thought, you know, I haven't completely blocked them off. Like, I haven't been terrible and just surrounded them so they can't do anything. Maybe the Scipii, but they've got boats. They're not stupid. Well, they are stupid. But, you know, if, if I was them and this was the situation... I would be either be going gunning for Egypt as quick as I could, or just coming over to Iberia and taking it. Like, you know, there's nothing stopping them doing that. And the Brutii especially. Like, if you want to say we've surrounded Scipii, yeah, fair enough, we kind of have. But the Brutii, what are they doing? Look, look at all this land up here. Like, they could be taking this. And specifically, I didn't want to, because I wanted them to take it. And I wanted them to go and take all these terrible settlements and start building them up. Um, but, you know, we're doing a lot better than them anyway, so it's fine. Uh, you know, we're not going as quick as we probably normally would, just because we are so spread out, and we've had to move a long way, um, you know, from the west to the east. So, you know, but we're doing alright, we're doing alright, it's not too bad. Um, and I think this turn is over, so let's end the turn and see what happens. I'm thinking this, this, um... Gaul army might come in and sack Lugdunum. Can they can they get there? They can't get there. But that's okay. Oh, Pontus, something just happened in Pontus. So rioting in Alexandria, that's kind of expected. Now, is there anyone who's re like this guy might be reducing uh, law. He's got law. Who's who's the uh, if we go here, who's managing it? You're managing it. If we take you out, will they be happier? Let's have a look. No, they'll be a lot less happy. Now, honestly, we might get a rebellion here. Um, which I'm not too bothered by because it basically lets us um, destroy, um, exterminate the population again. Which is fine. We, we um, enslave them to take them away. Um, not to take them away, sorry, to uh, bloody grow Aretium. Words. <laughs> so we enslaved them to grow Aretium, uh, which is great. Um, and all these towns seem to be growing now. Arimian's a large city. It's quite far off, though. Um, but these guys could start, now that we're upgrading Aretium, like, we can spread these guys out to be um, managers of other cities, governors. So I'm thinking... Which one's closer to becoming a huge city? Oh, Patavium. So let's send you to Patavium. We can get all the way there now because of our roads. Although they're still only dirt roads, we need to upgrade that. We've got better roads out in the sort of the new land to try and get troops up there quicker. So let's see what happens if we leave maybe just what's he called? Tertius Silius behind. Desi. Decius the Cruel, Cantankerous, Superstitious. Yeah, this guy is not good for managing a city. Like, look at all these minus influences. He's cruel. He's financially irregular. He's um, he's superstitious. He's cantankerous, and he's flexible. He is possibly the worst governor we could literally have right now. So we're taking him. Uh, we're taking these. Uh, archers. Now, let's see what happens if we leave maybe these two units behind. We could maybe take a few more. Uh, oh, they'd be fine if we make it a low tax rate. So, let's take... Hmm, let's take the uh, cavalry back, most likely. The cavalry, the um, spearmen will be better in a defensive battle anyway. So let's come up to the town up here, whatever it's called, Conde Redonum. And these guys are just staying on this river. I'm hoping they'll just stay there, 
If we can come around this way, this way, kill them, uh, that will be quite good. So we've got a candidate for adoption, Decius the Cruel. He's a really good candidate. He's 20. He's a true Roman, which is awesome for your influence. Social drinker, that's fine. He's sharp, which is excellent. And he's a confident commander. 100%. I'm hoping he... Where did he go? Adoption not completed. The man's now dead. He's been killed. Is that because we removed him from the city? I don't know. So, we're getting... Okay, Manius is getting better. He is only 33. I do want to send him off at some point. I just don't know whether we can right now. Like, the public order's terrible here. I think we're going to have to build an arena. Or oh, we could do the Pantheon. Uh, let's go for the arena next here. They just, it can just keep the uh, population uh, under control for a while. So, let's go through this. Ariminium. Um... Let's get the army barracks so we can start training uh, Praetorian cohorts as soon as uh, we get the reforms, which should be quite soon. Batavium. Hmm. Retrain these guys. Let's keep going. Maybe a catapult range, although I'm not going to use uh, anything more than that. So let's go with maybe the cavalry stables. Uh, Serta. You got the ship right, you're building your next uh, upgrade, that's awesome. Thermon, let's have a look, what can we do here? Population growth is still good for uh, for Thermon, so let's carry on with that. Uh, Carthage, yeah, building the arena, cool. Thapsus, Forum, uh, that's be helping with money. There's a little bit of corruption here, it's actually not too bad. Could keep going with that, like, how much will the ship right? Give oh a lot an extra two hundred which is awesome. Uh, Massilia. The only thing we can do is the um, blacksmith. Pergamon. We got more mines. Is it just silver here? Because the mines are only making two hundred. Yeah, they're not actually that good. So let's go for public health. Very nice. And Alexandria. Trying to Jupiter. We've got to keep going with that chain, otherwise, you know, they're going to revolt. Now, there is a potential for these guys to die in the riots. So, we could just take them out. It's probably what we should do. However, we can't retrain them if we do that. But, honestly, it's the best thing we can do right now. Let's leave in the Numidian mercenaries so that Egypt can't just come and take the city. Uh, with a sneaky army they have somewhere. Who's this guy? He's only got three units. That's all they can muster right now. They're probably fighting in the uh, the north somewhere. So what are we looking like here? Yeah, they got scythe chariots. That's terrible. So no, which army has the archers? Do you have the archers? Okay, that's worked out perfectly. Send the archers up onto the walls and they can fire down at everyone. Now, let's just check that we're building everywhere we can. Pretty sure, like, Lepsis Magna and Narbo Marshes can't build. Cyrene, Ankara, Nicomedia. Yeah, we've got a lot of towns. So, let's get them upgraded as soon as we can. Okay, in the north, you're moving. Here, you are just waiting for Alexandria to probably revolt, and then we'll take it again. Imperator. The only problem with the revolts is generally they'll have a lot of troops. But, you know, if we just have if we have to take it again, it, it, it's not too much of a worry. So, let's go for Sinope first. Let's see what they have. 420 men. Are these guys chariots? No, they're Eastern General, which is excellent. I don't want to deal with more chariots than we have to. Um, and the rest of your units are absolute trash. So, guessing, you know, we don't even need to be that conservative with the archers. We'll, we'll still use them, but we could probably just full cavalry charge this and win. So, let's go for the battle and see what happens. I'm a bit gutted that uh, that that adoption didn't go through because that guy was really good. If he got he he was uh, he was only 20 as well. He could have got some serious influence. 
Like he could have been amazing. So let's listen Today to the good uh, the the men of Pontus. They are worthy enemies, but enemies nonetheless. That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Right, cool. Uh... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they'll put troops here. So, let's come around the other side. Oh, I don't want to run around the whole city. Now, do we have a good route into the town square here? Yes, we do. Very good. Very short as well. So, probably, we'll just come in from this way. I'm, I'm not too bothered of, I'm not too bothered about min-maxing it that much that it takes, like, 50 minutes. So... Um, do we want ladders? Probably want the siege towers. Probably want a siege tower here, 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 and maybe some ladders. Um, and we'll send up all the archers. We'll keep, actually, we'll keep one unit of Princapes on ladders. Uh, yeah, you get ladders just in case. And we'll move just in case they've got the troops on the walls here, and we'll send them up to fight them. Now, Cretans, because you're mercenaries, you're probably going to go for here because you might get shot. Um, you guys, the least experienced, are going to go with this one to there. You guys, next experienced, next least experienced, with the least amount of troops. You're going to go this way, and that looks about okay. Um, are you still holding? You're holding the ladders. Cool. Right. Oh, Velotes actually send you up on ladders, because you're useless. Well, yeah, we don't care about losing Velotes to, uh, to the towers there, really. Right, you guys, let's go to the back. We, we don't want you to fight. Um, you Hastati will bring him here, and all the cavalry will bring here. Go about, go forward a little bit, and you two archers left will go here. Okay, yeah, they've put their thingies on the wall, but that's fine. What are they? Peltasts. Honestly, I could send these guys in, but I don't really want to. Um. I just don't want them to get shot at. So, actually, Velotes, I know you can't run. Um, Velotes go there, they're going to get shot, and we'll send the Princapes there who won't get shot, so that'd be awesome. Now, Archers, you should have a longer range than the Peltast, so let's go. See whether we can shoot them. Let's speed this thing up as well. Also, interesting to note, they said it was a quarter of the enemy's troops. And how many men, like, what is this? Like a six stack? One, two, three, uh, four. They're peasants, though. Uh, five, six. So, yeah. Clear they have no troops left. So, the last, that might be the last settlement. We'll have to listen to, um, Mazuka, we'll have to listen to the the, the general speech. At the walls. Now the real fight begins. Are these shooting? Yeah, they are. Awesome. They're doing a good job, actually. Could have probably sent the Cretans in rather than these guys. Can you guys run or not? Praise the gods! The siege towers are no. at the walls. Wish now they could the run with ladders. Hmm. 
This one might get destroyed, but I'm, yeah, I'm not too bothered. We're gonna we're gonna get a few on the walls no matter what. These guys are just gonna stand here and shoot. That's all I want them to do. Same with these guys. Can you not fire yet? Now I think they're fire. These towers are firing at the uh, archers uh, that are going up the siege tower. So we can probably, yeah, fire at these guys. Ah, uh, no, it's it's that firing at them. Is it doing anything? Not really. It's kind of hard to shoot them. We're definitely not going to be able to hit these guys because that big square thing on the uh, on the side. Now there will be hard fun yeah, the Prinker Bay is getting a bit shredded, but we should be able to retrain all these guys here now, so that's fine. Um, we need to run through these towers as quick as we can, so I would appreciate the Prinker Bay getting up there as quickly as possible. Now they're just hillmen, aren't they? So they're trash. All these units are really trash that they have, apart from their two generals' bodyguards, of course. Um, now you guys, do we need the cavalry? Bring them forward. Um, I probably don't really need these guys, but we'll bring them forward anyway. Now these two, probably quicker for you to go up ladders, but honestly not. I don't want you running past these towers until we run through with our brick base. So maybe just start walking this way. Bellate is getting shredded. That's fine. Our ladders Speed are in this place, up. and our men are now attacking. Against courage, what use of walls? Come on, speed up. Okay, they're here. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now oh, they're getting, they're getting shot. Capture this right, place. Come through, come through. Fight these peltists. Should be able to take the city um, that way. Now you, come up here. You, come up here. Should use the ladders, hopefully. Our velites get through here so this tower's not shooting anymore. Uh, Prinkabe should be fighting these guys. So the tower should not uh, work anymore. Ah, they're going to fight our archers, it seems. Grecian archers, go fight them. Go shoot at them. Hoping our Prinkabe's can break through. Let's, uh, we still haven't captured this gate yet until we kill these Peltusts, so these two archers should be able to fire down at the gap there, everyone. Yeah, that tower belongs to us now. Those archers are fighting to death, that's not ideal. Hmm. We might actually get rid of more of these guys with the Cretians. Yeah, they're getting shredded, those archers. That is not good. We get shredded by bloody Peltests, which are terrible. Now Prinker Bay is, yeah, they're, they're destroying them. Bellate is bringing you to here, and you might be able to fire down on these hillmen. Uh, yeah, when these archers are up, that would be great. We can all start firing down at people. Probably worth taking them all off uh, skirmish mode. Now those archers have kind of all died, which is not brilliant. Yeah, let's kill these, these Peltas as quickly as we can. I think this unit's going to get merged. So that's okay though. Could have done it more efficiently, but not, not too bothered. Shoot down at them. Put you on guard base so you don't start chasing them. Burn fire. Have we got the generals anywhere? Yeah, they're still they're not they're not close enough yet. Are you on guard mode? Start firing. Guard mode fire. These hillmen are going to get destroyed. Um, actually, Prince Bay has come through. We should have we should take the gate. Yeah. Go go fight those guys. Should be our gate now. Yeah, it is. Excellent. Honestly, we don't need anything else apart from our cavalry, I think. Let's go fight, fight these guys. Now, all this Astarte. You can come through just in support, just in case. 
can just walk though. Um, I don't think their general's going to come and fight us near the walls, so let's just keep firing. If you guys actually come here, because we might draw them out if we uh, if we just stand here. So let's see. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Maybe? No, they're just they're just too scared. Hmm. All right then. Uh, we don't need the velites. You two and you. Let's see whether we can. Um... Nah, look, let's just charge the cavalry. If Amulius dies, I'm not bothered. If uh, I'd rather this guy didn't die. That's about it. And Amulius, it doesn't matter. Is that that's Phibius, isn't it? If Phibius dies, I'm, I'm not too bothered. Those archers still don't know what to do. Now, the rest of the archers will bring you actually through. In case we need to withdraw from this engagement because their generals are too strong. Doubt it. You can see. And we'll bring the Astarte through. You can run. You three go over there. You two go over this. You four go over this way. They have missiles. That is the one issue. Now let's surround them. Those peasants shouldn't do anything. Shouldn't be bad at all. Now we've got them fully surrounded. They do have a lot, though. That's the only issue. But we've got one of our general's bodyguards is more than one there. Together. Okay, that's good. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. We didn't even lose any. We've not lost the general yet. Cool. That's the issue. Alright, kill the peasants. Good thing is we can retrain all these guys here, probably. So shouldn't be too shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think the next one will be wiping out Pontus. See, they killed a lot, but you know. We got the job done in the end. Um, we honestly don't need to move incredibly quickly quickly from here. Um, it's a large city. Let's go with extermination. Cool. Nice one. Right, we'll deal with that later. Let's worry about taking Mazaka. Now, this might be slightly harder. We don't have. We have one um, Cretan archer. Uh, we got the Scythian mercenaries. I just don't. Uh, scythe chariots are an absolute nightmare to deal with. The rest of it's trash. This guy's a faction leader. 13 melee and 13 missile. Hmm. Should be okay though. Shouldn't be too much of a worry, but it should be okay. I just the, the scythe chariots have the ability to, you know, smash through your troops. So we've got to be kind let of careful. To the gods let's listen. Victory, and then let us arm ourselves to the teeth. Just in case the gods aren't listening. This army of Pontus fondly imagines that it is your equal in honor and bravery. I say that they are wrong, and their dead will be many. This is the end of the road. This is the last battle. The enemy have no okay, cool. to run. They must hold us here, or like so many ghosts, vanish away utterly. So let us take up our arms one last time, sharpen the sword, and make ready. This will be the day of their final, lasting defeat. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We outnumber them by a small margin. From such small beginnings are great victories crafted. Our cavalry are brave and noble, but they cannot help us until we are within the walls. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in oh, their He's blood. bloody as well. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! Is that a new trait? Because um, I haven't noticed him doing that before. I could be wrong though. 
Now, who do we want to, to lead the uh, the charge with the rams? I think the hoplites, and I think we want to lead... No, uh, yeah, you need to be on the balance for that. I think we lead the charge into the city with the hoplites as well, because if they can fill up one of the spaces, no one will be able to uh, fight them fight them off. Now, who do we want to take in? We've got to be careful here because there's a lot of weak units. Imagine being the veteran of one of the uh, one of the last battles against that huge Pontic Horde with the Scythe Chariot and one of these small units. You'd be uh, you'd actually be pretty buzzing with that general speech. You'd be quite happy that uh, you know the Pontus has come to an end. And then you'd be worried that you've got to fight. Egypt and all their chariots. So, <laughs> but yeah, bit of a lore of this let's play. Let's play law. Okay, uh, why I could take you as well? Yeah, let's take you guys. Um, bring you to the front, and we'll go for these two. Oh my God, they've they've they've. Um, Sing the uh, send the slingers forward. They might run away. You know, we can probably kill a few of them. No, it looks like we're killing more infantry. Who are they firing at? Peltists. Hmm. Like, we honestly just want to take out the chariots. Like, the rest of the army's trash. So, I mean, the general as well. The chariots and the general are the two things we want to kind of uh, aim at. I wonder whether they'll bring an general gates. through now. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they the slingers are pretty through. brutal, though. The slingers are good against armor. So, uh, the chariots, not so much, but the general we can use the slingers against pretty nicely. Just get these guys uh, properly ordered. There we are. So, okay, you could drop that. You guys are not going to take part in this battle. You're too war weary. You guys are. And uh, do we put fire at will? I think we wait for the chariots, honestly. If we come forward. Maybe the Cretans can fire. The enemy gate is down. Can you, you can't still fire, can you? Work. Now, getting the hoplites in here and just setting them up, like they're not going to be able to get through them, so that's pretty good. Get them back in phalanx. Come forward. You go there. And destroy this, we'll bring these guys through as well. Um, do we want a cav? Okay, Our not have kept this tiny the unit. What's, now how many is it? 11. On, yeah, everyone but place. that 11. Unit of 11. Uh, do we kill the Peltests? Maybe. Honestly, might just bring our cab through for that, though. Because we need to face this way. No, you just stay there. Um, you just quickly... Charge those guys. Show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, they've gone. These guys have all gone. They, 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 they've got such bad morale. It's crazy. Um, chariots are back in the square. Who are they? Hillmen. If you can get rid of a few of them while we're here, that'd be good. Uh, now, get back to here and we'll start shooting at the general. Right, come up to there. You guys come through. Now, Prinkapes. You guys come through as well. And uh, over here, let's get these couple of equities. I want you to charge the helmet. Shoot with the general if you can. Um, and we'll bring the rest of the cavalry. We'll just walk it. Don't need it. The general's probably not too needed. These guys might break against the uh, eastern general, but it's not too bad. Right. Bring a base. We want you to fire this. Don't need to run into it. Okay, you can bolster them, but 
don't necessarily need it. I think the hillmen. Yeah, they are spears. They're still steady. It's kind of crazy. You go against these guys. Honestly, just just hold and fire your fire your arrows. That'd be better. Fire your healer. Yeah, that was a bit of a tough fight against them, but. Fire into the back of these instead of the tree. Don't be in guard mode, I just want you to be in a phalanx. Uh, let's bring the generals. Fight these guys. Uh, charge these eastern infantry. This general is strong. Oh god, get out, get, get out. Oh no, he's breaking, he's breaking. We don't need to get Dead. Honestly, slaughtered. let's go for a Let full cavalry the charge of these guys. They're all going to break. Birds. Yeah, they're all breaking. Can we chase them down a little bit? Now, hoplites, let's bring you through here. Brinker Bay is actually stop, 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 stop. Like that. Go here, and let's bring the. You go to here. You go to here. I think it needs to be a bit closer, have a better angle. Um, right, cavalry. You guys can wait back here. Don't run then, don't run. How are we doing? 15% to 76, that's okay. Scythe chariots and peasants. The tried and true combination. Side chariots and right. You've lost a lot of men. Just get you out of here. Don't want to lose you as a unit. Might even have lost you already. Um, oh, Scythians. Let's go after these side chariots. You can be on uh, skirmish mode as well. Now these guys should all be on fire at will now. No, they're going to start coming through now. Okay, the 44 is quite a not strong unit, but it's about half strength, so that's okay. Where's the other hoplites? No, oh, there's, there's a tiny amount of them here. Men of three, quickly! Kill them! Shoot at those uh, shoot at those side chariots, please. Now, oh, luckily, they don't have any uh, missiles with them. So all they all they need to do is charge us, but you know, I'm hoping the hoplites get rid of them. Yeah, the hoplites absolutely destroyed them then. Probably partly because uh, they already have damage from the missiles, but they char oh they've got berserk, they've got mental. So the peasants only need to break and we end the battle. Yeah, the enemy nice. This is a Did heroic all right. victory. Add, our army is battered after the last uh, battle, but you know those weary troops can rest and get some uh, Victory! Uh, regeneration. Rome has conquered. Let's. Uh, it's only a minor city. I'm sure we'll be able to handle the uh, population if we enslave it. Honestly, yeah, that's good. Resistance is futile. So no. Faction destroyed. Pontus. Okay, so this little sliver of land here. Is just a sliver of land from Pontus. Now, hmm, yes, honestly, don't think we worry about Armenia yet. They they shouldn't be too much of a problem. And let's see, are they at war with anyone? Because if they're at war with the uh, Scythians, that would be good for us. Um, Armenia? No, they're only at war with the Seleucids, but that means they are fighting someone. So they have someone to attack. Now the Scythians, they're also at war with Parthia, so they'll be worried about fighting Parthia. I wonder whether they've taken this army. Uh, no, because they're not at war with the Armenia. Could have uh, got a, ce uh, a ceasefire though. Let's get rid of this. Let's go with Prime Jupiter. Okay, looks like we can't recruit Princopes here. Not ideal. How long is that? That's going to take four turns, so let's do it. Um, 
can we recruit Prinker Bays here? Okay, we can. So actually, we don't need to worry about that. Let's go for... Let's get rid of this. Let's go for Jupiter again, as usual. <laughs> uh, get rid of that and go for Jupiter. And retrain what we can retrain here. So mm, I'd like to spread this experience about a bit. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So retrain the horseman. Train that. Train you two, Hastati. Now, Prinkapes actually can get all the way to here. Um, who do we need to retrain here? Everyone, apparently, because there's a blacksmith or something. What is there? Armorer. Armor, missiles, heavy weapons, and light weapons. So, that will um, increase their armor. Which is awesome, but... I honestly think we need to worry about the Prinker Bays first. Yeah, we did lose an, a unit of Prinker Bays in this army. Um, so, let's see what we can do here. Because we don't want to have to take them all. Mm, yeah, we can't really do this. They're so battered. You guys come to here. Um, I'm going to send, actually, the th two generals here. Just in case this rebel army attacks should be able to deal with it with our two generals and these Prinker Bays. Um, and let's see who we want to retrain. Okay, all the Hestati are good. Ah! I miscalculated that. Not brilliant. Uh, gonna miscalculate that as well. Give them some experience. Right, let's retrain those guys. The Prinker Bays. Um, the archers that we can. Velites, you, and let's recruit another Prink. Uh, no, actually, let's recruit another Equites. Uh, how far off are we from the upgrade? Four turns. Hmm. Yeah. Recruiting these guys. Recruiting more troops is actually not really what we need right now. Just carry on uh, retraining. What else can we retrain here? Now we don't have many troops left in this army. It was pretty battered. Actually, we will have these Brinker Bays. So yeah, let's not recruit any more troops apart from peasants to maintain the public order here. Cool. Well, guys, I think that's probably it for today. So we've destroyed Pontus, which is great. Um, we're looking here to see whether this revolts and we are pushing on the Gauls. We'll probably destroy Gaul um, pretty soon. So that's great for us and we're in a really good position. Let's just take a quick look at our ranking scroll. Yeah, we're just shooting up in our ranking. Let's go with the top five fractions. Factions, not fractions, factions. Uh, Who's that? Spain is still strong. I, I don't understand this. Would you take... Have you taken um, any land recently? Let's go... Okay, I keep pressing the wrong one. Territory. How's Spain looking? Looks like they've only got like six, maybe? Hmm, not too bad. Germania. Everyone's just flatlined. Egypt took one a few turns ago, but we're just shooting up. Which is awesome. We've nearly got thir we've got 32 regions, um, and the Senate hates us. Senators turn away from you in the street and bar their doors to you. They are happy enough slandering you in public, casting doubts on your parentage, your personal habits, and your children's true paternity. You are hugely popular with the plebeian classes, and fated as the hero of Rome whenever you enter the city. You could float a trireme in the, in the drinks that people offer to buy you awesome so the people love us and they will continue to love us until uh, we've conquered all of this land we are just going to keep conquering and then we're going to turn on rome i don't see the point of turning on rome now especially seeing as we've not even had the marian reforms yet so we'll just keep on conquering i want to i want to have the east locked off at least to um the caucasus so you know we've got a lot of conquering to do 
I also want to have, uh, you know, France and Spain locked off as well, and probably this land here, but this land's not as important because it's trash, so too bad. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching, please remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitch and like this video, comment down below your most nostalgic Total War game, thank you for watching guys and I will see you again in the next video.